The second abstract that we presented at this year's uh, ASCO GU 2021 meeting was led by Dr. Mark Murkowski. And this was looking at molecular determinants of response to bipolar androgen therapy, also called high-dose testosterone therapy. So our group at Johns Hopkins has been working on this paradoxical approach using superphysiological doses of testosterone as a therapy for castration-resistant prostate cancer. We've done a series of trials over the last four years, and we've had a handful of patients, about 20 or 25, who have had very deep and durable responses, characterized by at least 70% reductions in PSA uh, and or objective responses and or durations of response lasting more than one year. And we call these patients our extreme responders. So the purpose of this abstract, which was led by Dr. Mark Murkowski, was to look at these 20 or 25 uh, patients that received the bipolar androgen therapy who were classified as extreme responders and to try to uncover any genetic uh, underpinnings or explanations for these responses. And what we found was that the vast majority of these extreme responding patients to the bipolar androgen therapy, more than 90%, either had a P53 mutation or had an HRR gene mutation, such as BRCA2 or ATM, or the combination of both. And in fact, there was only one patient in this extreme responder group who didn't have either a P53 mutation or an HRR mutation. So this is interesting and exciting because we've known for a long time that P53 mutations portend inferior outcomes to virtually all hormone therapies, including abiraterone and zalutamide and others. And they may even be associated with inferior outcomes to chemotherapies. So this, to my knowledge, might be one of the first treatments that may in fact work better in patients that have P53 mutations. So these observations, which were retrospective, have led us to design a trial where we will be giving bipolar androgen therapy specifically to metastatic prostate cancer patients with a P53 mutation. And they either have to have a P53 mutation and a P10 mutation or a P53 mutation plus an RB1 mutation. And that study is ongoing and hopefully will prospectively validate or not whether the presence of a P53 mutation may enrich for sensitivity to high-dose testosterone treatment.